akamsihi aingie nyumbani kwake so he had an only daughter about 12 years old and she was dying kwa kuwa binti yake yuko katika kufa ambaye ni mwana pekee umri wake amepata miaka 12 he had his only daughter alikuwa na binti wake wa pekee who was very sick ambaye alikuwa mgonjwa sana the old queen sick kwa zaidi ya kuwa mgonjwa he was, she was dying alikuwa karibu kufa maybe she was collapsing labda alikuwa amezimia <laughs> but as he went the crowds were pressing against him na alipokuwa akienda makutano walimsonga he on the way to the house of jairus akochana kwenda kanyumba ya yairo crowds were pressing against him makutano walikuwa akimsonga and a woman who had come for 12 years and could not be healed by anyone came up behind na mwanamke mmoja ambaye ametokwa na damu muda wa miaka 12 aliyekuwa amegalamiwa mali zake kwa kuwapa waganga asipate kuponya na mtu yeyote alikuwa na nyuma yake Neither could she be healed of any wala asingeweza kuponywa na mtu yeyote but for the 44 came behind him and took the daughter of his garment and immediately her issue of blood stands or oh, stopped alikuwa na nyuma yake akaukuza upinga wa basi lake na mara hiyo kutoka damu kwake kulikoma and Jesus said who is the one who touched me yesu akasema ni nani aliyenigusa and why they were all denying it peter said master the people are crowding and praising in on you but jesus said someone did, did touch me so i was aware that power had gone out of me basi watu wote walipokana petro akamwambia bwana mkubwa makutano haya wanakuzunguka na kukusonga yesu akasema mtu alinikusa maana naona ya kuwa kuvu zimenitoka when the woman saw that she had not escaped notice She came trembling and fell down and declared in the presence of all the people how she had been immediately healed and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well go in peace Yule mwanamke alipoona ya kwamba hawezi kusitirika akaja akitetemeka akaanguka mbele yake akamweleza mbele ya watu wote sababu yake ya kumgusa na jinsi alipoponywa mara akamwambia binti imani yako imekuponya enenda zako na amani while he was still speaking someone came from the house of the synagogue official that is Jairus say your daughter has died do not trouble the teacher anymore alipokuwa kinena hayo alikuja mtu kutoka nyumbani kwa yule mkuu wa synagogue ambao ni Yairo akamwambia binti yako amekwisha uh, binti yako amekwisha kufa usimsumbue mwalimu but when Jesus heard this he answered him do not be afraid any longer only believe and she will be made well lakini Yesu aliposikia hayo alimjibu usiwe na hofu amini tu naye ataponywa when he came to the house He did not allow anyone to enter with him except Peter and John and James and the girl's father and mother. Alipofika nyumbani hakuacha mtu kuingia pamoja naye ila Petro na Yohana na Yakobo na babaye yule mtoto na mamaye. Now they were all weeping and lamenting for her but he said stop weeping so she has not died but is asleep na watu wote walikuwa akilia na kumuombolezea akasema msilie hakufa huyu bali amelala usingizi tu and they began laughing at him knowing that she had died wakamcheka sana maana walijua yakuwa amekwisha kufa he however took her by 
the land and called say child arise akamshika mkono akapata sauti akisema kijana inuka and her spirit returned she got up immediately and he gave orders for something to be given her to eat roho yake kamrejea naye mara hiyo akasimama akaamuru apewe chakula my dear brothers and sisters ndio kuna dada zangu wapendwa we live in a world full of challenges tunaishi katika ulimwengu uliojaa wa changamoto we live in a world that we go through issues that don't have answers tunaishi katika ulimwengu ambapo tunapitia mambo yasiyokuwa na majibu we live in a world tunaishi katika ulimwengu of ups and downs ya milima na mabonde we live in a world tunaishi katika ulimwengu where if you want to use your mind to solve problems you can't ila unataka kutumia akili zako kusuluhisha matatizo huwezi there are challenges in this world kuna changamoto katika ulimwengu huu she shall say yes when i say my i have told you these things nimewaambia mambo haya so that in me you may have peace ili kwamba ndani yangu muwe na amani in the world you will have tribulations katika dunia mtakuwa na dhiki but do not be cheer lakini jipeni moyo i have overcome the world nimeushinda ulimwengu my dear brother and sister ndugu na dada mpendwa we have one who overcame this world kwa nani aliyeshinda ulimwengu huu i am saying we have one who overcame this world inasema tuko na yeye aliyeshinda ulimwengu huu his name is jesus jina lake ni yesu we have one who has all power tuna yule ambao kana nguvu yote Kana any other power kwenye mchambuo nyingine yoyote I want shout his name three times sasa jina lake sauti mara tatu shout his name sasa sauti jina lake Jesus was here for three and a half years he doing ministry Yesu alikuwa hapa miaka mitatu na nusu akifanya huduma he do ministry for many years afanya huduma kwa miaka mingi only for about three years kwa miaka mitatu nusu hivi my dear friends we did those three years basi kwa pendo katikati ya hiyo miaka mitatu he showed us the father ali kuonyesha baba he showed us power alitoonyesha nguvu he showed us the power alionyesha kwamba nguvu access power inapita nguvu all power jump power kama nguvu kulana na nguvu in those three years katika hiyo miaka mitatu he showed us alituonyesha that power has power kwamba nguvu pita nguvu this power that can pass power kuna nguvu ambayo inaweza pita nguvu if you are a believing one Amen. Kama na mimi nasema sema amina kubwa. Jesus showed us. Yesu alituonyesha that the enemy has no power. Yakoba ajua kuna nguvu fulani. But there is a super power. Lakini kuna nguvu ya juu zaidi. That's why he said. Ndio sababu alisema in Luke James 19 katika Luka 10 mstari wa 19. Behold I give unto you power. Tazama na wapeni nguvu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To tread on serpents and scorpions. Kanyaga nyoka na nge. There are serpents in this life. Kuna nyoka katika maisha haya. There are scorpions in this life. Kuna nge katika maisha haya. Maybe after the serpent biting you. Labda kuna nyoka na kuuma. As you listen to me. Unaponisikiliza. I command that scorpion. Naamrisha huyo nge. I command that serpent. Naamrisha huyo nyoka. To be roasted by fire. Teketezwe kwa moto. Every serpent biting you. Kuna nyoka kanae kuuma ever stop your biting you bila nga nae kuuma i set it on fire na mchoma kwa moto i set it on fire na mchoma kwa moto say ever serpent every serpent program that cannot be alive program that cannot be my life ever stop your every stop your program that cannot be my family program that cannot be my family against my life against my life hard fire 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 Power over serpents and scorpions. Go to your nyoka na nge. And over all the power of the enemy. Na juu ya nguvu yote ya adui. Jesus gave us power. Yes, I took that ya mbuku. Over serpents. Juu ya nyoka. Over scorpions. Juu ya nge. And over all 
the power of the enemy. If you believe shall power. Where we have read. The Bible says. Jesus came in this territory. And a man by the name Jairus. Met him. He had about the power that. Jesus said, He was a senior ruler. He was a Pharisee official. In charge of the synagogue. This was a man in authority. This was a man, if you look at him from outside, you will see that he was a serious man in the society. He was a ruler of the synagogue. He was, he was in charge of the synagogue. He was a ruler. But challenges of life. Don't fear rulers. As you go through the challenges of life. Don't fear rulers. As you go Somebody may be a ruler. But the challenges of this life. They face the nobodies. They face the somebodies. The Bible says. He had only one daughter. He may have tried to get a third one. A boy came forth. They have tried to get a second one. Another boy appeared. He tried again. Another boy appeared. He tried again. Another boy appeared. There may be right chances. The man of the twelve boys. That's a blessing. Some say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know there's a blessing or a curse. If you have a lot of shamba, it's a blessing, isn't it? Yeah. If you have no shamba, then you brought a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. It's still a blessing. We need Jehovah. We need Jehovah. We need Jehovah, isn't it? Isn't it? Twelve daughters are a blessing. Twelve sons are a blessing. Every child is a what? Nobody is a curse. For a blessing, raise up your hands and say, I'm a blessing. The man had only one daughter. She was a young sick. The challenge came. She was about, she was dying. It's a continuous test. She was dying. She was in the process of dying. And Jesus agreed. Say, I will go. So he began to go. The goodness with our master. When you call upon him, he will come. I am saying he will come. When you call upon him, he will come. He answers prayer. I am saying Jesus answers prayer. When you call upon him, he will come. He said, yes, let's go. So he began going. But on the way as he was going, there was the crowds. They were pressing around him. And then there was another woman. Who had another issue. The issue of blood. For 12 years. Stars are something that is interesting is the girl was 12 years. The woman had a problem for 12 years. I stand here in Jesus' name. It does not matter how many years that problem has been there. Jesus will change your story today. I am saying will change your story today. The woman came courageously. As people were pressing around him, she told herself, If I can touch, I will be made whole. She was not interested 
in talking to Jesus, he just made faith. If I can touch his head, that is great faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She knew this man. The bread that God is putting on. If I can just touch, I can eat the head. I know power will touch my situation and change my situation. That is great faith. She believed. Once I go there and touch the head, I don't want him to lay hands on me. So long as I'm in his presence and touch his head, my situation will change. I'm hearing the Lord say it. Somebody's story is changing because you have come from home by faith to come to this service. My dear friend, by coming on this side, this service, you have expressed your faith. And I'm going there to meet with the Jesus. I am going there for an encounter. Come on, my encounter the master. May you encounter the master. May you encounter the master. Keep a neighbor high five say encounter the master. But I can only tell you that you are encounter the master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you have come. But Sababu me kuja. Like that woman. Kama manam ke yule. She decided. Ani amua. I will wake up. Ita amuka. I will physically go. Ita enda mucha kwa moja. Where he is. Mahali alipo. And once I reach there. Ani fikapo pale. I don't need to lay hands on me. Si ita jane wekele niko. I will touch his head. Ita kusa upindo. Once I touch his head of his garment. Ita kusa upindo wa basila. My situation will change. Ani ya kita badilika. We have touched his head through praises. We have touched his head. Come on through worship. We have touched his head. Come on through prayer. And I'm seeing your situation changing. I'm saying your situation is changing. The Bible says immediately her pleading stop. When Jesus does something, the thing dries up immediately. The manifestation, they take a while, and the thing vanishes immediately. Hallelujah! When he cast that tree, the fig tree, the tree dried up immediately. Although in the physical, the tree remained. Green. But the following morning, it was firewood. I'm saying it was firewood. He cast a tree today. The tree remained green. But the following morning, the tree was firewood. That means the moment he cast that fig tree, it dried right up immediately. Although the manifestation took some time, I have good news. The Lord has answered your prayer for 2023. The Lord has answered your prayers for 2023. Although the manifestation is not yet there, but the hope the truth is. In the realm of the spirit, your answers are already fulfilled. Your answers are released. Somebody must hear twice. Your answers are released. The Lord hit her immediately. When she touched it. The healing took place immediately. Your healing took place immediately. Say you are healed. You are delivered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when Jesus was still talking, those who carry bad news around, from Jairus' house, as he was still talking, who touched me? 
Those who carry bad news came from Jairus' house. They are bad news carriers. May the Lord squeeze them out of your life. I am saying may God squeeze them out of your life. They may be physical or spiritual. May God whisper to you bad news. The carriers of bad news. Come and shout. It's not dead. 
It is only sleeping. That is your challenge. It is not day. It is only sleeping. That is your dilemma. It is not day. It is only by sleeping. That is your dilemma. That your issue. Come on, it is not dead. It is only sleeping. Let's take our sins. Jesus said, Yes, what is Emma? She is not dead. Yeah, She is only sleeping. She's only asleep. Yeah, I'm to I have good news. Come on, stop crying. You are daughter is not dead. She's only sleeping. Your situation is not hopeless. In simple terms, your situation, your prayer request that you offer to the Lord at the beginning of this year. Come on, it is not dead. It is not dead. Your business is not dead. Your career is not dead. It may not have a job yet. When the battle of the I am good news. In a Things will change. Come on, you say you have a job. Things will happen. Come on, the truth is. Since somebody is not hearing, our cathedral is not dead. It has only been sleeping. It will start. I am saying this one will start. It is not dead. It will start and very soon it is standing in Jesus' name. It is standing in Jesus' name. I am saying standing in Jesus' name. We serve a true God. A reliable God. His name is Jehovah. His name is Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Sabaoth. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Jive. He is our source. All power belongs to him. Come on. Your situation is not dead. It is not helpless. It is it's not like there's no more hope. It is only sleeping. Because Jesus is around. Life will come back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he said this, I the whalers are laughing. They have been laughing over your life for long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is about to show up. I'm saying it's about to show up. Jehovah is about to show up. They have laughed over your life. They have laughed over your life. They have laughed over your family. They laughed over your family. They have 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 laughed over your family. Knowing that she was dead, they laughed knowing they were Why they were laughing? Because they knew that one is no more. They knew they were not guessing. They knew she is no more from the experience. From the normal way of looking at things. From all the signs of a dead person. They knew and they were convinced. He is no more. So they began to laugh. Come on. They have laughed at you enough. They have laughed over your family enough. They have laughed over us enough. The law is about to vindicate you. The law is about to vindicate us. Hallelujah. Raise up your right hand. And say every power. Every power. Laughing at me. Laughing at me. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Every power.
Nothing at me. Nothing at my testimony. testimony. I set you on fire. Nothing at my power. situation. Nothing at me. Nothing at my family. At my I family. set you on fire. Every part. Nothing, nothing at my family. family. Nothing at my life. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus. Every power laughing at me. Every power laughing at my family. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. In, in Jesus' name. But you know, yes, so. Come on, she's not dead. Ajafa. She's only asleep. I mean, I'm not too sick, is it? But he took her. Like he, he took that situation. I took by your hand. By the hand. From Mukono. And said, my I child. To to get up. Inuka. Not what you say. My daughter. I'll say, I'll say, Ara. Inuka. Child. Mutoto. Get up. Inuka. And he that was dead. I let my pufa. That says she stood up. Her spirit returned. And at once she stood up. Her spirit returned. This day the spirit is returning. In that your situation that you was looking dead. The spirit is returning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm saying the spirit is returning. We are talking of restoration. Because Jesus is faithful. Come on, he is the story changer. Why around you that looks hopeless? Jesus is restoring. Yes, when I Jesus. Let us be up on our feet. We are about to call upon Jesus. The great restorer. We are about to call upon him. To restore our lives. To restore our families. To restore our relationships. To restore our lost glory. Come and raise up with us to the Lord. We serve the true God. Our God is faithful. Our God is faithful. Come on, raise up both hands, begin to glorify His name. Close your eyes, focus on Him. Raise up both hands to Him. Begin to lift up His name. I don't know your name. I glorify your name, Jehovah God. I glorify your name, Jehovah God. I glorify your holy name of God. I give you praises, I glorify your name. I glorify your name, my Father. I exalt your name, Jesus. I glorify your name, Lord. I glorify your name, Lord Almighty. I glorify your name, Jesus. Jesus, I glorify your name. I praise you, Jesus. I exalt your holy name, my Father. I exalt you, Jesus. You are Lord, 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 you are a miracle. Uh, this one is for those who actively and say the story changer, I need a miracle. In this portion of scripture where we read, there are two miracles. A woman with the issue of blood got killed. She traveled to all physicians in the place. And all her resources. Nothing. It must have been witchcraft working. It required a higher power. There had been a demon from the marine kingdom. When they were the people who took up on the sucking blood through bleeding. The physicians could manage that. And they needed a higher power. And the thing dried up. The other miracle is the dead daughter. The 
dead girl. Mujiza ya mwingine ni msichana aliyekuwa amekufa. Twelve years. Umeona miaka 12. She came back to life. Alirejea uhai. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Yesu ni yule jana leo na hata milele. I'm saying Jesus. Ninasema Yesu. The one we glorify in the million. Yule ambaye tunatukuzaga hapa He is not on the cross. Hayupo msalabani. No. Na hasa. He is suffered crucifixion. Alitaseka kusulubishwa. On the cross. Pale msalabani. He died. Alikufa. He was buried. Alizikwa. On the third day he rose up. Siku ya tatu alikufuka. And he lives forever and ever. Na yuaishi milele na milele. His power has never changed. Kwa miaka ijayo Those who want miracles, there is no point us to the Lord. Close your eyes. You are going to pray like you never pray again. 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 Pray like Yeah, that's how I'm 
you are. Come on, come on, come on. Restoration of my family. 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 Restoration